Hi everyone, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you are well. I'm grateful to have you here with me. So we're back with another pick a card. Oh, before that, shout out to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you for all the love, support, encouragement, likes, comments, all of it. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you to the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and join the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. So we're back with another pick a card. This pick a card will be channeled messages from your higher self. Your higher self okay so your higher self is what's considered like your over soul um, it's your future self your 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 it's part of your future self but it's part of yourself that it's watching you from a higher perspective and guiding you okay your higher self helps to guide you through your journey and gives you messages and intuitive downloads and talks to your intuition to help guide you to your next step in your journey. So we're going to get messages from your higher self today. What does your higher self want you to know about what's happening in your life right now? What is it that you need to know? So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Timestamps will be linked below. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. So, I'm going to get some messages from your higher self. Some channel messages from your higher self. What do you need to know? What does your higher self want to tell you? What are the messages? I hope you're feeling well. You're feeling great. Shout out to the capital L of the E tribe. I love you all so much. Welcome to the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and join the capital L of the E tribe. Thank you all so much for all of the love and support. I'm so grateful to be here, to be here and do this work, and to be a part of this community. So grateful. Okay, Pile One, let's go. Pile One, Spirit, what are the messages from Pile One's higher self? What does Pile One's higher self want them to know? Pile One. The tower. King of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Wands. The world. Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Temperance in reverse. I'm going to take these. Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles in reverse. How one, okay, we're gonna get more cards as we go. What does your higher self want you to know? Okay, how one, so let me just. Okay. Your higher self wants you to know that you're getting ready to go undergo a huge change here. <laughs> it's 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 getting ready to be a huge change. Um, it's a huge, huge shift coming in for you, Pile One. Your whole life is getting ready to change. For some of you, your whole life is getting ready to change. Um, 
there's a huge opportunity coming in. Opportunities. It's actually more than one opportunity, and it's huge. Um, this is something for many of you. This is something you've been waiting on. This is something that you've been praying about. I'm hearing some of you have been fasting. Yeah. Like, you're getting ready to get a huge level up. Huge level up. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Like, it's getting ready to be a celebration. Um, your whole life is getting ready to change, Paul One. For many, and if it hasn't, if it... It's, it's very close to changing. It's the work you've been doing. You've been healing. You've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been manifesting. Um, but something is getting ready to happen. That's getting ready to crumble the rest of the old patterns away. Like it's a little bit more that a little bit more like uh, self-limiting beliefs or like old habits, old patterns. A few more things that are being broken down, but slowly but surely it's breaking and it's getting ready to be a huge shift. For some of you, this is going to be a big like bombshell is getting ready to come out for you. And it's like a bombshell in terms of like career, where it's like something, something like you may, it's almost like for some of you I'm hearing, you take what resonates, like someone's going to pass away or something tragic is going to happen to someone and you're going to have to step into that leadership role. Like, let's just say, for example, and something happens to, you know, a manager or supervisor or some type of administrator something like that it's going to be like all of a sudden like you know you come to work the next day and they're like hey you know this happened that happened we have to regroup we're promoting you to this position and you're going to be like what and you're going to feel excited and passionate but it's also going to feel a little scary and it's going to feel a little bit like I don't know if I could do this and your higher self is telling you you are more than prepared for this okay for some of you this is going to be like an overnight situation like I'm I'm seeing for some of you like whatever it is that you're doing you may be like some type of influencer or whatever content you're putting out someone's going to like retweet you someone is going to share your content and it's almost like you're going to go viral overnight like you're going to wake up the next day and you're going to have like so many more followers it's it's going to be for some of you media outlets are going to be asking to interview you or asking you to come on their show like your exposure is going to go from like 0 to 60 overnight like Whatever this is, this is fast. This is a fast moving energy that's coming in for you, Pile One. And your higher self is saying, not only are you deserving, this is your time, but be fearless and you got this. Your higher self keeps coming through saying, you got this. Like it's going to be quick because like I said, for some of you, your whole life is getting ready to change. For some of you, you're gonna become like that. I don't like to say celebrity. But, you know, that's what society says. So we'll go with that term. Like an overnight celebrity. Like I'm hearing that song. But even though that song is... But anyway, like I'm hearing that song. That song, I forget who made it. But it's like overnight celebrity. Like that's the vibe I'm getting for some of you. For those who are like on a platform or trying to be on a platform, okay? Um, yeah, it's like... Yeah, like I'm just, you're, for some of you, you've been struggling with your finances, but you haven't felt, always felt um, financially independent or financially abundant. That's getting ready to change. Okay, if it has, I feel like for some of you, it's already changing. You're getting ready to shift in total, into total independent abundance. For some of you, you were with someone that was helping you financially or you may have been married to someone who was considered the breadwinner or um you were dependent on someone financially that's getting ready to, you know that's going to be no more you're going to be completely independent and your higher self is saying you earned this you earned this and this is your time this is your moment to shine you deserve this you are more than deserving of all the the abundance, the success, 
everything that you're getting ready to get, that you're getting ready to unlock, this is meant for you. This is this is destined, this is fated, this is a part of your path, but you're more than deserving and worthy of it. And your higher self keeps reminding you, but your higher self is coming through telling me, don't forget who you are and don't forget you are worthy of this. Don't ever question, don't ever second guess, don't ever think like, I don't know, this is too much, can I handle it? No, your higher self is saying, Absolutely. It's going to be a celebration and it's going to be happy times and you're going to be, you're more than deserving to celebrate, to celebrate yourself, to celebrate your success, to celebrate the good things that are coming. Your higher self is also saying continue to your truth, the essence of who you are. Keep that clarity, keep that truth, keep that purity. Don't be too defensive. Don't give up. But don't be too defensive when it comes to things. Continue knowing your truth. Your higher self is saying, continue to have a balance. Okay? Some things are not totally balanced. You're still having trouble with balance. You may have trouble with, or you may be having issues with keeping a balance with your boundaries or a balance with um, your self-care or your self-love or like work-life. Continue to find that balance. That's going to be key for you. You have to have a balance. You can't work too much. You can't, um, you know, spend too much time relaxing, chilling, taking a break. You have to have that balance. You have to have the balance with taking care of yourself, getting the proper rest, eating healthy, exercising. You have to have a balance, okay? So that's going to be important in this journey. For some of you, this is going to be a new relationship coming in for you, I'm hearing, a new connection that's going to ground, it's, it's going to be full of happiness and fulfillment, okay, and your higher self is coming through saying that you're deserving of that as well, and this is something that you've been manifesting and this happening for you as well, so your higher self is coming through to really reassure you that, you know, these happy times, you're deserving of this. You know, you are coming into, if you're not already in your power, you're coming into your full power. You're completely in alignment with who you are meant to be, what you are meant to do this life journey. And you're in alignment. You're on the path. You're in your purpose. Okay. And these things that are coming up for you, they're destined. It's faded. This is meant to be. And you're deserving. All right. So let's get some more messages. We have white Tara sensitivity. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Sun, the number six. Cave, protection, 17, introduces to uh, the number eight. 37, magnetism, attraction, number 10, that reduces to. And then we have clarity, mountain, 16, which reduces to number seven. Okay, so your higher self is coming through saying quite a few messages here, power one. Um, you're becoming more sensitive, okay? You're becoming, your body is becoming more sensitive. You're more sensitive to foods. You're more sensitive to the chemicals, the environments, the situation. Your energy is sensitive and your physical body is sensitive, okay? So avoid harsh relationships, avoid harsh environments. You may need to change your diet. You may, you need to do more things to protect your energy, balance your energy. Um, again, take care of yourself because the more you take care of yourself, the more attractive your energy will be. Okay. Um, honor your sensitivity. You don't need to be defensive, but honor your sensitivity. You know, you, you may even have to let people know, hey, I'm sensitive. That That's a little, you know, like 
handle me with care. You know, you are a sensitive person. Honor the sensitivity within. And it's okay because your sensitivity is your superpower and continues to guide you and show you. So honor it. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. Okay? You seem to be a giving person, but you have to be able to receive as well. This will help you. Be receptive. Have your hands open to receive because that's how you receive the abundance, the success. Be open and ready. Again, know that you are worthy. Your higher self is coming through with that strong message. You are worthy. You are deserving. There's no need to give without receiving. It's an equal balance with that, okay? You are a giving person, but you have to be able to receive. And that helps you to continue to give to others. Allow yourself to receive. Stand up for what you believe is right. So don't back down. Keep that fierce attitude of you're standing up for what you believe is right. You're standing up to speak out or whatever it is you're doing. Like I said, for some of you, you know, you're speaking out on things. You know, you're getting ready to get noticed. You're getting ready to get that attention. You're getting ready to get, you know, whatever it is you're doing, you're writing, you're making music or the content that you're making. People are getting ready to wake up and realize, wow. We need to be listening to Pile One. Pile One is, is talking about some stuff that we need to hear. So, you know, keep keep living in your truth. Keep having that clarity. Keep standing up for what is right. Keep honoring your truth. Keep being authentic. Okay? Don't back down. Don't change yourself. Like for those who, who are resonating with the overnight success, the overnight celebrity, okay? Don't get caught up. And like all these people know your name now. So now it's like, let me change it up. Let me do what they, what I think they want. No, you know your truth. You know who you are. Keep, keep, um, stay true to who you are. Remember who you are. Remember what you're here to do. Don't back down. You keep standing up for what you believe is right. For you, what, for what you know is right. Okay. Keep following the light. You are the light. You are the sun. For many of you, you are the sun, okay? Keep following the light, the true north. That's your path. You're already on your path. Don't get off your path. Keep following it. Keep following the light. The light will always guide you. Keep trusting in the light. Because the more you do it, the more you illuminate the path for others. You are guiding other people, whether you know this or not. Even if you, you know, you're like, oh, Nicole, I just work at like Wendy's or something. It doesn't matter. You know, you're still helping and guiding others. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're a guiding light. Honor that. And that's why you're so sensitive. Your sensitivity is beautiful. You're, you're able to be so empathic and loving and sensitive and caring with others. Okay? That's a superpower. Keep being the light. Know that you are protected. You are protected. You and your loved ones are safe. You are protected through this journey. Your higher self is letting you know you are protected. It's okay. You're doing a great job. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay on your path. For some of you, I do see here with this egg, this is going to be a very fertile time. And that could be physical fertility. Maybe you may be having a child soon or starting a family. And it could also be with creativity, birthing new projects, birthing new ideas, um, just being very fertile and abundant. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This is a very abundant time for you, a very fertile time. Right now, you are becoming more attractive. Your energy is continuing to be more attractive and magnetic. So that means you keep raising your vibration. The more you raise your vibration, the more attractive your energy is, the more you will manifest and attract. The more abundance you will attract to yourself. But that goes by honoring your truth, honoring your sensitivity, living in your truth, living in your purpose, and continuing to take care of yourself. Continuing to get the rest you need. Continuing to eat healthy. Exercise. Take time to heal. Take time to meditate. Clear your mind. Love yourself. Okay? The more you do those things, take a break when you need it. Take a rest. The more you do that, the more attractive you are. The more magnetic your energy is. Keep putting... There's a serious message here about clarity and truth. Honoring those things. 
You are a pure person. You are sovereign. Remember who you are. You are here to do amazing things. And your higher self is reminding you of the essence of who you are and what you're here to do. So keep that in the forefront of your mind. Whatever it is, doesn't matter what success comes your way. Everything is blessings on blessings. You're grateful. But continue to own your truth. Love your truth. Be clear on what you're here to do and who you are. Because if you're being elevated to a public platform, they're going to try to tell you all kinds of things that are not true. They're going to try to make it out to be, you know, everyone is, you know, people will love you, but they'll also try to tear you down. Okay, be critical and, and try to rip you apart. Remember who you are. Remember the essence of who you are. Your light. Your purity. Okay, what you're here to do. You can't let that noise get in your mind and distract you and pull you off track. Because you're here to do big and amazing things, Pile One. And your higher self is guiding you along the way. And your higher self is proud of you. Your, your team is proud of you. And they just said this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. You, you're just embarking on this path of like total success, total abundance. You know, like I said, for some of you, everyone is going to know your name. Everyone is going to know who you are. And, you know, you may feel that's scary, but that's a part of the plan. So that's when it's like, know who you are. Remember who you are. Know your truth. Okay? Know, know exactly who you are. If you get promoted to management one day after being, you know, working with your colleagues and now all of a sudden you're their manager, you have to remember who you are and remember what you're there to do. And you can't let them and their other people's opinions try to deter you, try to knock you down, try to pull you off your path, okay? Know your truth, know who you are. All right, so let's get some more oracles out, some more messages from your higher self and what you need to heal right now. Healing the heart, power of self-love. Tenderness, true love, compassion, number nine. And this is 27. So that's also reduces to the number nine. So that's 99 here. Wisdom, learning, joy, art, music, 29. Wow, it's a lot of nines here. So that's number 11 that reduces to, or the number two. Surrender to passion. Surrender low self-esteem. Surrender to inner peace. They chose you. Love is never in vain. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. Okay, Paul Juan. So, your higher self. Your higher self is coming through to tell you again. You are really on the brink of something huge here. Okay, it's, it's the huge breakthrough is here for you. But you have to surrender this low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So there's just still a few remnants of low self-esteem. Um, you could be feeling like, you know, again, like I said, your higher self kept saying, you are deserving, you are worthy, you are good enough. So you could be feeling like, you know, if you're going to be on this public platform, if this is something that you've been working on, you could be feeling like, you know, you're not pretty enough, you're not handsome enough, your body is not the way you would like it to be, or um, just little things. You're being asked, your higher self is asking you to surrender it, let it go. It's not true. Those are the things that are not true. You are beautiful, okay? You are a beautiful being of light and truth. You can always make these adjustments, okay? What Make the necessary adjustments. Don't go overboard. Make whatever necessary. If you feel like you need to lose the weight, okay, set the intention. Start working on losing weight, whatever it is that you want to do. But you are beautiful. So embrace yourself. Give yourself that tenderness and that love because it just needs, you just need to put some love there. Once you put the love there, this won't even be a factor anymore. Okay? Know that you are beautiful and deserving.
to be this overnight success. Okay, tenderness, true love and compassion. Again, for some of you, you have true love coming in, a true divine connection is coming in for you. Um, very spiritual, high level here, and you are deserving of that as well. But continue to love yourself and give yourself that tenderness and compassion because you're still healing the heart, power of self-love. Continue to give yourself more self-love. Heal your heart. You may have been through some things in the past, you know, been through some hardships. Continue to love yourself despite all of that. Give yourself that love you deserve that helps increase your level of self-love. And then again, you become more, your energy is more attractive, more magnetic. Surrender to passion. Okay, and this is saying get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So you're being asked to get more passionate. Do things that you feel passionate about. Get out of your head space. Get into your heart. Get into your belly. Get into that fire, that passion, that drive. Do things that, you know, ignite that passion where the passion can just flow and it's just natural. Surrender to inner peace. Okay, so you're being asked to, again, find that balance of peace, that peace and love within where no one can rattle you. No one can get you off track. You know, you're feeling good. So for some of you that may be in quiet reflection and some type of still moment, find that place where you could go easily to inner peace. Okay, right now, this is a time for learning, joy, art, and music. That's where more wisdom comes in. Okay, more wisdom comes through these activities. When you're learning, you're reading, you're in this place of joy, you're, you may be in arts or music, writing. That's where more wisdom comes. You are a natural divine channel, Palawan. So those, that's a part of your gift as well. So honor that. And, you know, tapping into that will help bring in more of that passion and that um, that wisdom that you're channeling. Okay. Love is never in vain. And they chose you. So for some of you, you know, again, this could be this connection, okay, that's happening for you. But just know that love is never in vain. Love never has any bounds. Love is not superficial. Love is real. And love's all around. It's all around you. And, you know, it's it's everywhere you turn because you are love. And remember, that's remembering who you are. You are love. You are love. You are light. You are a, a light being, pure sovereign. Okay? That's going back to remembering who you are. And no two flowers are the same, yet are all beautiful in their own way. So that, again, goes to that self-esteem. You know, no one looks like you. You don't look like anyone else. You are your own person. You are your own individual. You have your own journey. And other people, they have their own journey as well. So trust this process and just know that everyone is different. And you don't need to, you know, you don't need to feel like you have to look a certain way. You don't need to feel like you have to present a certain way to be accepted accepted or like people expect for you to look this way or no be you that's that's truthfully who you are be you and honor that and love yourself and know that you are exactly who you are meant to be and there were no mistakes you are amazing you are beautiful a being of light and love okay so i'm really proud of you pal one congratulations for these beautiful things happening for you I'm just, you know, I'm excited for you. These breakthroughs, this is amazing. Okay, if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Please like the video, comment below. I'm proud of you. Keep going, Power One. Keep doing your thing. Um, please subscribe. Join the Capital L O V E tribe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope you're feeling great. I hope you're feeling well. Shout out and welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you all for everything, all of your love and support. Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you all for all your love and support. And please subscribe to the channel. And join the capital L O V E tribe. Okay, so let's get into it. How to what are the messages from your higher self? 
What are the messages from your higher self? What does your higher self want you to know? Okay, pal two, pal two. What are the messages from your higher self? Temperance, how to, three of wands, nine of swords. Death in reverse. Empress, the Empress card in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. The Star in reverse. And five of pentacles in reverse. Okay. How to on the back of the deck we have page of pentacles. Okay, we're going to get more cards as we go. Let's just start here. How to. So messages from your higher self. Your higher self is. Your higher self wants you to get balance. Your higher self feels like. And I feel like that's like a collective energy right now in the collective, but um, your higher self is saying that you need to get balance. You need to get balance and I'm hearing you're losing track of what's important. You're losing track of the bigger picture. You're losing track of, it's almost like, I'm feeling like an energy of not feeling on track, not feeling grounded, not feeling um, stable. Yeah, it's like, you know how it feels to feel grounded. You know how it feels to feel stable. You know how it feels to feel in your power. And I feel like right now, for whatever reason, you don't feel that. You don't necessarily feel in your power. You don't necessarily feel grounded. You don't feel stable. Um, it's, it's, it's like your, your higher self is recognizing the anxiety and overthinking that's going on. It's like a serious need for... For some of you, you need to take a break, like take time off, go on a trip or something like that. And for some of you, it's like you need to get back in touch with who you are. Uh, I feel like the, like it's, it's a lot going on in your world right now, in your life, and you don't really know. It's like a lot of overthinking, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Yeah, like my head is starting to like fill away and it wasn't feeling like that before. And then we see this too, Eight of Swords. Yeah, and Justice. So it's, it's a lot of like, this wants to come out. It's a lot of overthinking, a lot of um, stress, worry. Okay, for some of you stressed about money, stressed about your next um, move in life, stressed about Stressed about what you need to do next. Stressed about everything going on. Um, stressed about your love life. You know, I, I'm feeling for some of you, you don't feel you're in your power. You don't feel like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, you don't feel like you're in your purpose. Okay, like that. It's kind of the... I'm sorry. I don't know why this is looking crooked. 
it's just it's better um you don't feel like you're in your purpose you don't feel like you're in your power there's some other messages because it's like a lot of um seeing like you're missing a lot of sleep for some of you you're avoiding your higher self is saying stop avoiding this transformation stop avoiding stop avoiding taking the time to heal stop avoiding like it's like a lot of distractions like i'm feeling like there's a lot of distractions right now in your life and a lot of things you're distracting yourself with you're kind of like distracting yourself doing different things so you can avoid the healing work or like getting yourself focused and on your path but you're upset that you don't feel like yourself you're upset that you don't feel like you're in your power and your higher self is saying like it's almost like you know some of this you're doing to yourself you can't you can't blame others you can't you can't um it's almost like okay for example like let's just say um like you want to let's just say okay you're like you wake up in the morning and you're like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna like i'm gonna run these errands and i'm gonna i'm gonna do this work you know you have a plan for your day but then you get phone calls so it's like you take the time to talk to the people on the phone and then you're like you know after you talk on the phone it's like four or five hours later you're like oh i didn't get anything done now what am i supposed to do and it's like you want to kind of blame other people like oh if they wouldn't have called i could have got this done where it's like no if you had stopped and said hey i have this work i have to do let me call you back it's like a lack of discipline that's what it is like if you had told the people hey i'm gonna call you when i get my work done i'll talk to you later but it's like it's a lack of discipline but it's also like you really don't want to do certain things so it's kind of like use these things as a distraction you have a lot of distractions right now um three of swords in reverse you have a lot of distractions right now it's a lot of things and yeah like even i keep getting distracted i don't know why these like yeah i could just tell like you're easily distracted you're easily distracted and going in your head like i keep getting distracted with the way these cards look on camera i'm like do they look right okay so yeah i feel like there's a lot of distractions. Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, and Reverse. It's a lot of being in your head. And it's taking you away from your power. Your gifts. Your gifts and your power. Um, you need to get more in touch. Your higher self is saying you need to balance out your masculine and feminine energy. Especially your feminine energy. You need to get more in touch with your creativity. You need to do some things that ignites your feminine energy, dance, the arts, creativity. For some of you, you need to have sex. For some of you, um, even if you have sex with yourself, you pleasure yourself, you need to do it. Um, for some of you, you need to go on a trip. You need to take a vacation. You need to take a break. You need to take a time out. For some of you, you need to do some more heart chakra healing. Healing the heart, healing the heart from heartbreak because your heart is cold. Okay, pal, pal two, pal two. Seven of cups in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse. Okay, let's get one more. I'm gonna get those oracles. And seven of pentacles in reverse. Wow, look at all the sevens. With three sevens here. That's seven, seven, seven. And then the fool in reverse. So it's like this energy here, pal, to your higher self is trying to show you that you're preventing yourself from getting on a new, starting a new journey, starting a new chapter. You're kind of like self-sabotaging right now. Um, you're self-sabotaging by telling, it's like, it's like this energy of you telling yourself all these things that are not true. You're not really... You're not honoring your truth. You're telling yourself a lot of those old self-limiting beliefs. You're making, you, you're still believing in those things. You're still believing that like you have a hard time, for example, if you're having a hard time with discipline. You keep telling yourself, yeah, I'm just not a disciplined person. You keep telling yourself, yeah, I'm just not organized. You keep telling yourself, yeah, you know, um, 
I just don't know how to do that well. That's just not me. So, or, you know, I like to think everything out. So it's like these things that just keep circling in your mind that you keep telling yourself that's really not serving you anymore. And it's really time to let that go. For some of you, you do have new love coming in, but your higher self is, is telling you that you're going to have to not be defensive. You're, you're going to have to not be defensive and you're going to have to let... Um, you're going to have to drop the barriers here. You're going to have to drop some barriers. For some of you, you are moving into a new chapter with your career, but I feel like you don't really know. Again, it's kind of like a self-sabotage energy. It's kind of like you know what it is, what you want to do, but you, you don't feel like putting in the work and the effort to make it happen. Okay? And for some of you, I think you're just exhausted. I honestly feel like you're having a hard time because you're exhausted and you need to take a break. You need, you're tired. You're tired and so you're having a hard time really kind of like starting this new chapter of what it is you want to do. But you're, you're physically tired but you're mentally tired. Like your mind is tired and you need to give your mind and body a break because there's a lot of overthinking and anxiety here. And um, I think for some of you, it's anxiety about work. For some of you, it's anxiety about your love life. For some of you, it's self-sabotage going on here. You're avoiding healing. You're avoiding healing your heart. You don't want to deal with that. You're doing things to keep distracting yourself. For some of you, you're drinking too much. You're spending too much time with other people or like on the phone or talking on the phone or um, watching TV. For some of you, I do, your higher self is saying that you are dealing with depression right now. You're dealing with depression and you're not being honest with yourself, okay? Um, and your higher self is saying, it's okay to feel depressed. You're human and it happens, but be honest and let's put some love there so we can move forward. So your higher self is kind of, your higher self is very gentle, very kind but your higher self wants you to be honest with yourself and wants you to be honest about like if you're self-sabotaging if you're having issues with being organized and disciplined there needs to be a level of honesty and accountability here okay so let's get these oracles out start delegating ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself and that's green tara coming through purification it's time for a cleansing, cleansing detoxification of your body and your mind. Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Breathe, or breath, I'm sorry, breath, life. 27, which reduces to number 9. The biome, connection, 44, which reduces to number 8. And adventure south number two. Okay, so pal two. So we see here, and this is kind of what I was saying too. Um, you're being asked to start delegating. You know, ask others for help. You don't have to do everything on your own, and it's time for you to take a break. You know, I keep seeing the heart here. The heart has come up a couple times. For some of you, like I said, your heart is cold or <clears throat> you're blocking your heart or you're guarding your heart you're protecting your heart but you're not facing what the the real issues are so that's all this green here that's heart chakra okay energy you need to heal your heart chakra um and ask green tower for help ask others for help ask your spiritual team your ancestors your spirit guides your um, angels, archangels, ask for help. Okay, you don't need to keep doing everything on your own or trying to do. If you, again, like I was saying, if you wake up with this list of things to do and then you get off track, ask for help. And I'm telling you, it works every time. You, you'd be surprised how it just connects. Purification. So right now is the time for cleansing and detoxing. Um, this is what I was saying. Again, a lot of overthinking, being trapped in the mental body. So a spiritual bath would be helpful for you right now. Getting 
in the water bathtub with the bath salts. <laughs> with the bath salts. Yeah, you need to do that. Bath salts and um, clear and cleanse your energy. Okay, if you have some essential oils, you can put that in there. Rose petals. Um, the bath salts, like I said, to ground you and clear you. This will help detox your mind, too, because you need to do some things, exercise, go outside. You need to do some things to clear your mind. You're overthinking too much, and it's creating a lot of anxiety and self-sabotaging thoughts. So you need to do some things to clear your mind. For some of you, like I said, you need to go on a trip. If you can do that, go on a vacation, go on a trip, take a break. If you can go to the beach, go to a lake or something. Get outside, connect with nature. It's going to ground and heal you and help clear your mind because your mind needs to be cleared. For some of you, some anxiety is around your family. And so, you know, Artemis is coming through saying you and your family and your loved ones are safe. And your higher self is reminding you, you're spiritually protected. You don't need to worry. You know, I'm hearing for some of you, it's a lot of like fears in your, like irrational fears in your mind, like, you know, you're scared about certain things happening to you and your family, or you're scared, like these things, you think about these things in a loop a lot. Like, you know, maybe if you have children, as soon as they leave the door, you're scared and worried. And so your higher self is saying, there's no need to be scared. You are safe. You are protected. Okay. Um, for some of you, you do have adventure coming. Because for some of you, you need that. You need that to break up the monotony, break up the mundane task. You know, you need some excitement. You need that to break up the overthinking, to break up the... Because it's just too much in the mental body here. It's too much being trapped in the mind, okay? And not enough getting into your heart and getting into your physical body. So exercise is going to be really important. And... Exercise and being outside, okay? Even just taking a walk, like that's just going to be so important because, yeah, look, I just opened the deck in the Ten of Pentacles. It's like once you do these things, your justice is coming for you. You're going to be free. I feel like right now you're really trapped in your mind. It's a lot of air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be those signs, but yeah, it's like... I feel like for many of you, you know, you're kind of like everything is fine, but you're in a lot of pain and you're doing a lot of things to distract yourself. And so your higher self is bringing this to your awareness because for some of you, you may not be, you may not realize. And your higher self wants you just to be honest, be honest with yourself because your higher self is saying, once you're able to be honest, then you can move forward. You don't have to be stuck there. If you're feeling depressed, it's okay. Your higher self is very gentle and loving and saying, it's okay. You're human. It happens. But let's not stay there. Let's not get stuck feeling depressed because there's too much to do and you have too much power and too many great things happening for you. So your higher self is saying like, it's okay to feel these feelings. It's okay to feel right now those issues, you know, that betrayal energy or feeling stabbed in the back or feeling like your heart is cold, it's okay. But be honest with yourself and let's not stay there. Let's keep moving forward because it's, it's so much. It's so much to do. It's so much to learn. It's so much to explore. And so purify yourself. Start delegating. Start asking for help. Delegate to others. You can't do it all on your own. Stop getting distracted by little things. Try to practice discipline. Practice discipline and being honest with yourself and holding yourself accountable. And knowing that it's okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to get a little upset, to get down. You know, you're healing. You're working on yourself. It's a process. Everything is not going to always feel the best you know and I, and I feel like this is something in the collective too just like balance you know because I've been having issues with balance as well and I just feel like that's like a collective energy because it's been coming up so it's okay pal too you know you got this it's okay you know it's a low moment right now but it's just you're going to be rising up 
and you you know how to do it and you don't want to get stuck in that place because you're you're too good you're better than that and there's so many exciting things here for you to explore and to learn and to do all right so let's get some more oracles out for you so we have divine mother nurturing compassion grace 37 which reduces to number 10 circle of eternal joy timelessness dance of life 41 which reduces to number five river of blessings releasing constraints 47 which reduces to the number 11 or the number two surrender to silence Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Surrender to setting limits. What would love do? You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. You will be surprised. Okay, pal two. So this is really good. This is really beautiful. This, these are reassuring messages from your higher self, which is really beautiful because I know that it may be a tough time for you right now, and you know things may be things may feel challenging, and you know this is your higher self coming through again, reassuring you that. Um, Beautiful things are coming in for you, okay? If this is not going to last forever, and it's okay. But let's start here with surrender to silence. Your higher self is saying it's time to, you know, be reflective. So have some quiet contemplation, meditation moments, okay? Go hermit mode a little bit. You know, take the time to go within. Take the time to not be around a lot of people. Put the devices down. Take some time to go within. Go outside. You know, go enjoy the beauty of the natural world. Go for a walk. Go for a hike. Go swimming. Go running. Go be by some water. You know, take the time to admire the beauty. Take the time to take it in because guess what? Nature heals. Nature heals and you will be healed by nature. Nature will renew your heart. You know, renew that heart chakra so your heart won't be cold. So, you know, you will have that blood flowing through it the way it's supposed to. And you will feel love and feel that happiness. Surrender to that natural world. Again, for some of you, you do need to take a break. You do need to take a trip if you can do that. Or just take a day off and just go outside and enjoy yourself, okay? Because it's time to give yourself... Um, the nurturing compassion and grace that you deserve that maternal empress energy okay connecting with your feminine energy because for some of you that energy is blocked right now so you need to connect back with that so nurture yourself right now nurture your inner child for some of you um, you know this cycle that you're in this is a part of your destiny this is just a lesson or lessons that you're learning so you can continue to collect the information, the knowledge and the wisdom to move forward to the next journey, to the next new beginning. So this is just it's just a part of the dance of life. Like this says, timeless is dance of life. This is just a part of the journey and it's OK. Your higher self keeps coming through so gentle, so loving, like it's OK. You're doing a great job, but it's just we can't get stuck in these certain places. So it's OK. Let's just recognize what we need to do and keep moving forward. Keep moving forward on the journey, releasing constraints. So you have a river of blessings coming through, but boundaries is going to be important. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So you're being asked to remember your boundaries that, you know, you want to protect yourself. You want to love yourself. You want to feel safe. So having boundaries in place, it's okay. You know, that's a part of the process too. Don't let others make you feel bad for that. You know, you need to be able to feel safe and protected. Um, 
what would love do and you were destined for greatness on the wings of love so remember love has no bounds okay love has no limits here and you are destined for greatness on the wings of love so you know love is a part of your truth love is a part of your essence love is who you are so continue to act in that um act from a place of love and know that love will always bring you to where you need to go love is how you will get to the higher levels love is how you will unlock more wisdom more consciousness you know so heal the heart heart healing is important for you right now pal too because the more you heal, the more you let love in, the more love can flow freely out. And you, the more you love yourself, the more you can love others the way they deserve to be loved. And finally, you will be surprised. So the universe, you know, your higher self, your higher self knows about these surprises, but you don't know yet. You are going to be in for many surprises. Okay, the surprises and river of blessings are coming in for you. Your higher self is reaffirming that it's coming in for you, but. Again, you have to come out of that self-sabotage energy, that defensive energy. You have to set the proper boundaries and don't get distracted and, you know, come out of that and just get focused, get back on path, get back on track. You know, we fall off track. It happens to everyone. Again, we're humans. We're having a human experience. It happens. But again, like your higher self keeps saying, don't get stuck there. You just cannot stay there. Okay. Okay. But you're doing a great job and you will be surprised. And the more work you do on yourself, the more surprises and abundance that will come in for you, Pile 2. So I'm proud of you for doing this work. Thank you, Pile 2, for tuning in. If no one told you that they love you, I love you. Keep going. Keep growing. Keep glowing. You know you're doing a great job. Don't give up. You got this. Um, I'm sending you so much love. Please like the video. Comment below. Let me know how that resonated for you. Also, subscribe, join the Capital LLVE tribe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Hi, Pod 3. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're feeling great. Shout out and welcome back to the Capital LOVE Tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you all for all the love and support. Welcome to the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and join the Capital LOVE Tribe. Okay, so we're going to get into a pop three. So, what does your higher self want you to know? What are the messages? From your higher self. We need to know right now from your higher self. Call three. from Pal 3's higher self. Okay, we have Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. Two of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Wands in reverse. The Empress in reverse. The Devil in reverse. The Moon. And Eight of Wands in reverse bottom of the deck six of swords and reverse okay pal 
how three. Let's, we're gonna get more cards, but let's start here. How three. There's your higher self I want you to know. Okay, pop three. So I feel like there's something here. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of like for some of you, I feel like you just walked away from a relationship. Um, this could be this could have been a relationship with a person that you felt like you were gonna be with for a long term. You know, you may have even been married to this person. Um you know, you felt like this person was going to be the one, the one you would be with, the one that, you know, was just going to be your everything. But um, you walked away, you know, you walked away. For some of you I'm hearing, there was some infidelity here. There was some um, lying. Uh, for some of you I'm hearing, this person was stealing, stealing money, some thievery. There was some deception here, okay? Um Your higher self is coming through saying that, you know, you made the right decision because this person, you know, basically the situation here is this person, the relationship with this person, it, it just really, it ran its course. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, these cars, when they get crazy, it gets on my nerves. Um... Yeah, like basically the relationship ran its course. And so it was time to walk away. It was time to leave this person alone because this person was not authentic and they were not. It was this, the relationship was no longer serving you and it was not for your highest good anymore. For some of you, I'm seeing that you're thinking about going back to this person or you're thinking about... Um, you know, giving this person another chance. And your higher self is saying it's time to move on. It's, it's time to leave this person alone. Um, for some of you, you know, you may have felt like some type of addiction to this person. There may have been, um, for some of you, you know, this person was even binding you to keep you there. Or, you know, there was a serious codependent attachment to this person. So your higher self is saying this is the choice you're making to come out of this. You're you're making the choice to come out of this energy. This energy no longer serves you. And you're making the choice to drop that codependent attachment and, you know, leave this leave that situation alone. Um Your higher self is saying don't back down now. Your higher self is saying, don't let this person get into your head and try to persuade you to come back around because what's done is done. And, you know, basically what you were supposed to, like you learned the lesson that you were supposed to learn with this person. You learned your lessons. You, you did what you were supposed to do. So stand firm in your decision. Stand firm in the decision to keep moving forward. Because basically it's a situation where, you know, you get back with this person, you're going to be going backwards. And, and it's like it's going to be counterintuitive. Okay. It, it's going to be counterintuitive because you're on the path of moving forward. You're on the path of destiny. You're on the path of letting go of those things that no longer serve you and moving forward to calmer waters. Moving forward to a calmer situation, a less, I feel like it was a lot of drama in this relationship. And because we have here, you know, five of wands, this is like a drama card conflict. I feel like it was a lot of drama in this relationship. And so you're leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind and you're moving towards stability stable ground calm calm waters okay and you're leaving behind drama foolishness arguing petty arguments i'm hearing a lot of he say she say the blame game mm -hmm. i'm hearing that blame game song mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who made that song Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Blame Game by Kanye West. Yeah. Listen to that song. Um, 
that may be prominent here for you. There may be some messages here because I'm hearing that song, the blame game. Um, it's just like a lot of drama and your higher self is saying that you don't deserve this anymore. You don't, you don't deserve to be you don't deserve to be in this drama. You don't deserve to continue to have all of this. I'm just hearing it's a lot of foolishness. It's a lot of petty foolishness. It's a lot of like, you know, it, it's almost like an energy of we argue, we fuck. We argue, we fuck. We argue, we fuck. Like, it's like we argue all night and then we fuck all night. Like, or we argue all day and then we fuck all night. Like, that's kind of like the energy is like all of this arguing, 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 creating what is perceived to be this passion, but it's just really a lot of drama and foolishness only to get in the bed. But it's like, it's, it's very codependent. It's very attached. It's very karmic. And it's like, it's not healthy. And so you're leaving that behind. Your higher self is saying you're ready to leave it behind. You're ready to leave that energy behind. You're ready to break free, to break free of the codependent nature of this connection, the attachment, the karmic attachment, because this is a very karmic situation. You know, this, this could definitely be a soulmate, but it's very karmic here. It's a lot of karma that you guys are moving through because the nature of this connection connects back to, wow, um, the nature of this connection connects back to lifetimes of some of the same issues, some of the same deception, betrayal, dishonesty, arguing, um, so passionate in the bedroom, can't let go of that passion because of all of that, that karmic energy, that attachment, you know what I mean? Like, it is almost like, um... Like the arguing makes the, the bedroom more intense, you know, makes the sex more intense because of all of the arguing and all of the drama and all of the passion and all of the, oh, you said this, I said that, so let's get in the bed and let's just make it all up. So it's kind of like you're moving away from that. You're moving away from that because you're, again, you're moving toward stability, groundedness, okay, solid. Something solid new beginning that's abundant and grounded and stable and that you could trust. And it's because you know the truth now. You have clarity. You know the truth. You know the truth of this connection. You know that it no longer serves you. You know that, you know, it was a lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of, you know, I'm hearing infidelity. I'm hearing, um, again, stealing, thievery, deception, you know, you know the truth of this connection now. So it's like your higher self is saying, you know, high priestess energy, this is intuitive, very strong intuition, you know. So your higher self is saying, why go back to this? You don't have to, you, you've done what you're supposed to do. You don't need to go back. The hang one, let go, surrender, let go, keep let go don't go back keep moving forward keep moving forward to the new stable ground because for some of you you know you may have grown up in a household where um you know you saw your parents arguing or you saw the parental figures or the adults arguing a lot and then you know it's kind of like okay everybody knows they argue all night what they're going to be doing in a couple of hours after they argue so you may have seen that growing up and you may just have that belief system this is kind of what it's supposed to be you know this is this is what people do this is what relationships seven of wands in reverse this is what relationships are about you know this is what what happens in relationships you know these are the type of things that couples go through but it's okay because guess what the sex is always on point and then you figure it out but it's like no your higher self is very very much like no no more it's time to move on judgment in reverse don't deny the truth five of pentacles okay so you may be feeling left out in the cold right now you may be feeling you know sad and grieving the loss of this relationship um you may want this person back but you know your higher self is saying keep moving forward don't don't forget your truth. Don't deny the truth. Don't 
forget the things that you've been seeing, okay? The truth that's come out, the truth that this person has shown you. You know, see things from a higher perspective here, okay? Drop the de defenses and, you know, be real with yourself. Be real with yourself and don't let passionate sex keep you in a place of feeling stuck, okay? Your higher self is saying, you haven't seen nothing yet. You like you think that this is the best sex you've ever had. It's really not. It's really not going to be the best sex because when you have all that karma with someone, like again, it, it's like that passion is ignited because of the karma. I'm speaking from personal experience, okay? So I know this story too, all too well, okay? It's so much passion and karma. It's like that karmic, like that karmic tie. And again, this could be a soulmate. It doesn't have to be like, you know, when people hear karmics, they hear like, oh, this person is really not meant to be in my life. No, it's not. It's just you're moving through that karma. But all that passion is ignited with the drama and it keeps you there. And you're able to express that sexually, to get it out sexually because it's so much energy, sexual energy. And so... Don't be fooled by it. Don't be stuck. Don't be attached. Don't stay there because you know the truth now and you're ready to move forward. So don't deny the truth and don't forget it. Don't act like you don't know that it's there. See things from a higher perspective and keep following your intuition and keep moving forward. Okay, so let's get these oracles. Bright future. Look at this. Lakshmi. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Medicine woman, you are a divine channel. You are a channel for divine healing power. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. And then we have building Adams 40, which reduces to number four. Purity Ice 33, which reduces to number six. And Alchemy Magic 43, which reduces to number seven. Okay, so Pal 3, you know, you are, your higher self is coming through saying, there's no need to worry. You have a bright future. You know, everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. It's double affirming messages here. But you have to heal because look, these swords are in her back. She's like, everything is fine, but she's on her phone and the swords are in her back. So you have to heal. Everything's going to be fine. You don't need to worry. You are coming into a bright future, a bright new beginning. Goddess Lakshmi, that's the goddess of abundance. Um, everything is fine. It's going to be fine. Just keep moving forward. You know the truth. You know the truth of the situation. Keep moving forward. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If you go back, I'm here to tell you right now, you go back, it's going to affect so many things in your life. Your abundance, things are going to be blocked. You know the truth. Keep moving forward. You got this. You are a divine channel. You are a divine channel for healing power. For some of you, you know, you may be a medicine woman or you may be connecting with that. Um, you may be a shaman. Your ancestors may be medicine woman or shaman. You know, it's a serious, ancient, indigenous energy here. So you are a channel. You know the truth. Keep moving forward. Keep being clear. Keep moving forward. Don't let some hot bedroom action keep you there. And like I said, your higher self said, you ain't seen nothing yet. You think it's hot. You don't even know. That's... That's lukewarm to what you're about to have. So, you know, keep moving forward because guess what? You are divine. You're going to be having some divine sexual encounters. And divine sexual encounters can't compare to karmic, karmic and um, toxic attached bedroom action. So, you know, you're going to be moving into that divine, that divine energy, divine connections, you know. And that's it, period. Like, that's 
that's better than anything else. Like I said, you haven't seen anything yet, and your higher self is saying it. Your higher self is coming through a little sassy, a little like, come on, we're not doing this. Like, your higher self is like, we're not, no, we're not playing these games. This, this is done. This is done, and it's over. Like, you know the truth. Okay, so you are supplied for day, today and tomorrow. Remember, you are abundant, and the universe is abundant. There's enough room for everyone to win. There's enough room for you to have love and abundance and for anything that you need. You don't need to worry about scarcity. You don't need to worry about not having enough. You don't need to worry about not being enough. You have all of that. You are a divine channel. Okay? Stay clear. Stay pure. You're being asked to continue to be pure because you are a channel. So, you know, know that you, purity and being sovereign is important. Remember who you are. Being pure, being sovereign, being clear. You are a divine channel. Medicine woman, shaman, that's who you are. It's naturally who you are. You channel, you uplift, you help. Okay? You guide. There's something with your hands. You have a lot of alchemy. You're an alchemist. Okay? You have a lot of power in your hands. Your hands are powerful. Magic. Magician energy here. 43 reduces to the number 7, the number of the divine. A highly spiritual number. A divine number. You have a direct connect to source, the most high. Spirit, you have that direct connection. Okay? Honor your abilities. Don't sell yourself short. Your higher self is not messing around with you. Your higher self is not playing with you. Your higher self is like, look, we have a lot of work to do. Everything will be okay. You don't need to worry. The universe will continue to provide for you. You are you have an infinite supply of love and abundance, wisdom and knowledge. Right now you're building, you're building toward your new future, your new future of stability, solid, grounded, love. Okay. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. And you deserve this and you earned it. You don't deserve drama. You don't deserve pettiness. You don't deserve going back and forth, foolishness, arguing all the time, just to keep doing it again over and over. Like I said, that rinse and repeat cycle of arguments and sex. Like, you don't deserve that. You know, you deserve divine connections only. Okay? Divine love only. Divine connections only. Higher level connections, okay, where it's, it's so much deeper, so much more love, unconditional love here, not all the drama and the foolishness, that's what you deserve. So your higher self is saying, remember who you are. Remember who you are, remember what you're here to do. Remember your truth, don't deny the truth. See things from a higher perspective. And if you walked away, keep moving forward. Don't go back. Don't turn around and go back. You left that codependent situation, the attachment. You came out of that. So keep moving forward and everything will be great. Not even fine. It's going to be great. Okay, pal, pal three. Let's go. Let's go with your oracles. Deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. 15 introduces to number six. Death and rebirth, darkness to light, 19, introduces to number 10 or the number 1. Abundance, fortune, wealth, plenty, 28, introduces to number 10. So we have two 10s here, okay? And this kind of looks like Lakshmi again. Yeah, and the elephants, mm-hmm. Yeah, Lakshmi came through twice. So Lakshmi may be work, Goddess Lakshmi, you know, she may be guiding you as well right now or working with you. Surrender, obsessive thinking. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Surrender comparisons with other people. Okay, convince yourself, not others. Give yourself much more credit. You might not know, but you will. You might not know now, but you will. 
Okay. Pile three. So let's start here. Surrender obsessive thinking. So let go of obsessively thinking about the past. Um, it could be this, you know, this past relationship with this person. You may even be thinking about what this person is doing. If this person has moved on, let it go. Okay. And some of this, again, like I said, this is a past life connection with that person. You know, this is a past life situation. That's why it's so karmic. It's a karma from past lives. That's why I may feel like you can't let it go. You can't let it go. You don't want to see that person with someone else, but you don't really want to be with this person, but you really don't want to see them move on. You don't know, you know, you're feeling all these emotions that you can't express and you don't really understand. That's a lot of that past life energy. It's past life influences here. So it's a situation here where you know you've been with this person for you know many lifetimes okay and you've done this with this person before this having this type of situation with this person where you know it's been arguments it's been drama and then it's passionate you know passionate passionate sex and you know you're doing it over and over again so that's some of that influence there so you have to let go of this obsessive thinking okay about this person and what they're doing and the situation with them let it go because i feel that now that you know that this is connected to past life energy that's going to help free you you know you may have been feeling like before like you don't get why you're so tied to this person why you can't let this person go so i feel like you knowing now this is a past life connection that may help free you from this like why do i keep going back to this person or why do i keep you know your higher self is saying you can move forward now if you go back that's your choice that's free will that's basically what it is because before you may have been staying with it you didn't know why because you had to move through that karma you had to learn your lessons but now you've come to a place where you've learned it you can move forward so if you do go back to this person it's free will you have a you have free will. You always have free will, but this is not about destiny anymore. It's about this would be your choice. So that's why your higher self is like keep moving forward. Okay, so death and rebirth, darkness to light. So you know you may have been feeling like you were in the dark night of the soul or in a dark period. Now you're you're transmuting that. You're transforming. This is a death and rebirth for you. You're moving toward calmer waters, um, stability, grounded abundance, okay? So be patient with yourself. Give yourself more credit like this, this car says. Be loving and nurturing to yourself. You've been through a lot. And be kind. Nurture yourself through this process. You're transforming. You're rebirthing. It's the phoenix coming from the ashes type energy here. That's the Scorpio energy. You're, it's the darkness coming to the light. So be patient, be kind, be loving to yourself, be gentle. It's time to um, surrender to your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So again, that scarcity thing came up before. We're talking about the infinite supply. So you have this belief in scarcity and it's time to let it go. Know that the universe is so huge, so abundant, so amazing. You are provided for. You will always be abundant. You have fortune and wealth and plenty coming for you. Your future is bright. It's a lot of reaffirming messages here, okay? You don't need to worry. You are abundant. There will always be enough. You will never be in that place of lack. You may have grown up in circumstances where you were in poverty or in lack. You are no longer going to be there. You won't be there anymore. So you can let it go and know that you are a part of this infinite infinite level and nature of abundance. You are a part of that. Um, surrender your comparisons with other people. So keep your eye focused on you. Focus on how beautiful you are. Focus on how amazing you are in your strength. 
okay don't focus on other people don't focus on what other people are doing don't focus on like oh this person looks like this and I don't you are unique you are beautiful you are who you are there were no mistakes okay embrace your uniqueness embrace your beauty embrace how extraordinary you are you are unique and different for a reason everyone is not the same you are beautiful you are amazing you keep your eye on yourself convince yourself and not others so I'm going to read the back of this the need to clarify explain or justify oneself and personal relationships is always self-serving what's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways so you know if you're having to explain yourself or you know explain like I feel like this is in connection with this relationship explain certain things remember you know sometimes that like this card says it's self-serving it's not really serving the purpose of the situation or this other person is serving you and there may be insecurities there that you feel the need to explain and um, your higher self is saying you don't need to do that you don't need to explain yourself you, you know convince yourself you don't need to make this whole long dissertation to explain to others you just convince you and once you know your truth and you know your truth and you honor your truth that's it give yourself more credit okay so there are some surprises coming for you. I do see here, it says you might not know now, but you will. So everything is not clear to you what's happening. The new direction, new journey that you're going to be taking on, the new start. It's not clear, but all you need to know is you're protected. Your loved ones are safe. You know, you have abundance coming. You, you are abundant. You have fortune coming. You have wealth coming. And you don't need to know everything right now. You just need to focus on you. Keep loving you. Keep giving yourself that love, nurturing, kind, grace, energy that you deserve. Keep focusing on you and keep healing okay and all of these things let go of scarcity it does not serve you and all of these things will make sense very soon okay I'm sending you so much love if no one told you that they love you today I love you keep going keep facing north keep moving forward you don't need to go back you got this you know what to do I'm sending you so much love and I'm proud of you for doing this work please like the video comment below let me know how this resonated subscribe join the capital L-O-V-E tribe thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next reading bye